Wow, it's so peaceful here, man. You can just climb those stairs yourself and come here to hide. Good morning! We are on our way to the Metzingen Vineyard. Right now we are in the southern province uh, Baden-Württemberg Baden in Germany to discover what the nature has to offer but also like what and the vineyards and yesterday we went to the outlet city. So today it's vineyard time! The Metzingen Vineyard! Walk, 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 walk! Luckily my muscles are not so sore anymore otherwise all these steps would have been torture so now it's okay it's a good workout this is a wonderful guide martin yeah. and he's explaining everything to us <laughs> because they sponsor me oh do they <laughs> this is a commercial uh, yeah <laughs> too funny but this uh, variety is uh, called in france Pinot Meunier. In German, Schwarz Riesling. This one. The, it, it sounds not so good as Pinot Meunier. It sounds better, much better. <laughs> and Pinot Meunier is a, a part of a Champagne. In the Champagne, you have three varieties Pinot Noir, you will see also, uh, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay. Mm. And we have it here also climb 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 look at these stairs this is pretty cool and we're almost at the top look at this view look at this view it's pretty wow wow it's so peaceful here man you can just climb those stairs yourself and come here to hike just relax it's awesome these gorgeous roses even though they are very beautiful but they are planted here with a purpose and the purpose is the roses can um, are a good indication if the humidity and the warmth is good enough for the grape plants and also um, if there are any plant diseases or um, insects that want to attack the grapes they will attack the roses first so they know uh, what to do to protect the grape plants interesting right oh snap they still pick the grapes by hand here and it's a part of the quality control because then they can check the grapes and only the best ones um, make it into the wines so this man as you can see he has a backpack and he hand picks all the grapes and puts it in his backpack one more thing i really do not want to forget to mention is that um, all my prejudice about Germans has been shattered in this uh, southern region of Baden-Württemberg. So we Dutchies, we like to make fun of our neighbors, Germans. They are, well, they are famous for their Deutsche Grundlichkeit, which means they're very strict. They um, like you to play by the rules. They're very punctual, but at the same time, it doesn't make them the kindest people on earth. But seriously over here the people are so nice and so friendly i'm sorry people in the north you are probably also really really nice but um during this introduction in the south of germany they are so lovely and helpful and kind so a big part of my dutchy judgments about germans has been shattered over here Mad respect, our guy. He is 72 years old, and he is like almost the fittest one of the, of our group. Though he's also very fit, but our guy, mad respect. Hashtag goals. Ach so, we sind im Biergarten angekommen. Wait, what? Did I just speak German? Yes, baby, I just spoke German. Oh, that is good. We can in sun sitzen. <laughs> right now we're going to try the sect, which is kind of like a champagne rosé. Set some ball. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's very, very, very sweet. Next wine we're going to try is this organic cuvee. 
and it's also vegan wine. I don't know what that means because wine is usually just made of grapes, so I'm thinking all wine is vegan, but maybe I'm wrong. Ah, our wonderful guide explained it to us. So with regular wine, when you have the grape juice, it gets filtered by gelatin, which is of course not vegan at all. So with a vegan wine, they filter the grape juice with um, some thing like a coffee filter paper you know those things so vegan wine I'm not a good wine taster it's good yeah it's nice lunch is served so I have the kartoffel salad the potato salad which I really really love and uh, just a regular salad. Wow, this was so nice. We were just sitting in the shade, tasted some other wines, ate lunch, and it's so nice. Look at this. I highly recommend you to just have a drink and sit here all day because it's perfect. Or hike, 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 hike. I was promised that I could pick an apple after lunch. So, picking an apple from the tree. Gotta clean it, man. Gotta clean it. Old school way, kind of. I think it's organic apples, so it's organic, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm. It's still a bit too bitter and sour. Not yet ripe. It's not. It's not apple season yet. I think in se in September. If you would like to do this wine fields hike yourself, here is the start. You can do it yourself or you can hire our wonderful guide. I will put the link to their website because he's in a He does this as a volunteer. So I will put the link to their organization. I will put it down in the description below Our guide is seriously the coolest person ever. So he said to the people who were like building the walking routes and everything If you can make this like in a snake like shape, you know, like this like going in a and not going in circles, but you know what I mean, like, you know, that, that the old people can go up uh, with their, I don't know, with their rolling support thing. <laughs> it's called the rollator in Dutch. If you know what the English translation is, put it down in the comments below. So he said, if you make this road this way, so the old people can also go up, I will plant a vineyard over here or some grape plants and I will take care of them. And uh, so six years ago, he planted these and that's his social project to you know take care of the old people here and he is 72 and he didn't know any english when he started doing these guided tours he just taught himself english god this is why i love travel man you meet so many inspirational people and you learn you're never too old to do anything new or to do what you love going back to our hotel for a final afternoon snack before we fly back that rhymes I'm such a rapper, man. Deal. I ordered the apple juice as a drink. Look how big this is. Ah, it's a half a liter. But it's organic, local apple juice. It's so freaking good. You need to drink this. Mm. And as a final snack. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. We have, of course, flamkuchen. Oh. I love this stuff. Schmeckers. This was an adventure. There were only two check-in desks and on top of that they were extremely slow and there was this huge line. We thought we would never make it to check in on time but finally a third one turned up and then there was a massive line with the customs and two members of our group didn't have the plastic bags for the liquids. I don't have them either. Never. They were forced to buy those plastic bags for one euro per plastic bag. That is nuts. So when you want to visit Stuttgart airport, put your ish in plastic bags because otherwise you might miss your flights because of plastic bags. We made it. Back to Amsterdam. Hello, Amsterdam. It is okay weather, I have to say. It's a little bit colder than Germany, but still. A little bit sunshine, fluffy clouds and stuff. Hey, okay, why don't you come home to? And we're going to say goodbye. Bye, Judith. Bye, beautiful babies. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Super.
leuk om je te ontmoeten. Ja, heel gezellig. Bye. Frank. See you in Germany again. Yeah. We're going to Germany together again. Awesome. <laughs> Bye Zoe. Bye hon. And Bye, she's going, also going to travel the world. And she's On going bike. to bike and camp and whatever. What is your website? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's wait, wait, wait. Yes, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. We leave uh, dot NL. <laughs> what? We leave. We leave. Dot NL. Okay, so only for the Dutchies, right? Or in English? It will be Dutch, yeah. Okay, yeah. for the Dutchies. Awesome. Last one, Denise. Oh, thank you so much for everything, honey. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. Yes. yes. Until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 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 so cool. <laughs> We're home again. Back with my baby. Come to have some dinner now. We went to the Albertijn and I got a falafel salad. Let me just heat it up and take out my contacts because my contacts are so dry. I got you a present. For chocolate. Yes. It's very hard to buy presents for Stefan, but this is something he will definitely use. Ladies, if you don't know what to buy for your man, buy him this. It is almost 10 p.m. and I'm gonna go to bed because I am so freaking tired. Thank you so much for joining me to Germany and if you would like to travel along to London, click that subscribe button. If you're not yet subscribed, thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh, if you like it, you can put a thumbs up. That's always nice. I will see you next time. Bye.